good afternoon everyone my name is jeevan sharma and for the next 20 minutes i'll be talking about the secure application delivery services in a private hosted cloud like openstack so <coughs> with that let's see so as we know uh, as we see you know the application delivery how it's uh, it has evolved over the years the applications have moved from the traditional data center and uh, more and more applications are moving towards the private public clouds it uh, it is building out these new clouds so what is the implication for the as applications go as applications go cloud native what is the implication for the application networking services or the application delivery controllers so the application uh, networking services and application delivery controllers they need to integrate very well with the Data, uh, with the data center infrastructure to provide seamless integration, uh, to provide you the agility, the same level of uh, uh, support that these applications have, so that you can uh, you can uh, so so you can ensure compliance, you can ensure your service level agreements, and you can provide the services to the uh, to the um, to your users. So I'm going to talk about the so. A lot of our organizations today, as you will see, they, they have their traditional data centers, they have their applications hosted in the traditional data centers, which they are going to probably migrate over the, over the next few uh, quarters, years. At the same time, they are also moving new applications, or they are moving applications to the cloud world. They are containerizing their applications. They are uh, using microservices to spin up applications uh, into their cloud environments. So. If you if you say hey, uh, what is the application delivery uh, controller needs, or the, what are the load balancing needs for these applications? So it's not one single requirement that these customers have, but there are some customers need higher performance. They need the uh, they need uh, higher throughputs. They need uh, services which can work well in their traditional data center environment. At the same time, there are customers who need very agile ADC services which follow the uh, applications. At A10, we we provide the most flexible options, so we have the flexibility to offer solutions for both of these use cases. We pro, we pro, we have ADC solutions for your traditional hosted uh, apps in the traditional data center, as well as we have <coughs> solutions for your cloud-hosted uh, applications. So, what are the ADC, uh, What are the A10 benefits, or the, what are the benefits of A10's uh, ADC that we, uh, that we offer? So, first of all, we have an ADC solution which is best in class. We do have the uh, DDoS protection capabilities. We offer SSL Insight. We offer firewalls. So we have different products that cater to this uh, uh, this problem. Then at the same time, we are also very agnostic from an infrastructure point of view. So we don't uh, we don't really have a requirement that your application ADC needs to be in a particular. Envi we support certain environments. We support your. Pa your traditional data centers, we support virtualized data centers, we support public clouds, private clouds, so no matter what your infrastructure is, we have a solution for that. We have a very, uh, we have a support for a multi-cloud management, which means that from a single controller or from a single pane of glass, you can manage your ADC services in multiple clouds. At the same time, we provide you the auto-scaling, the application analytics and visibility into that, and we have a very agile and responsive customer support. So what is our product vision, or the A10 Harmony vision? Uh, bas basically what we have is, hey, uh, if your infrastructure is your, uh, if you have your physical data centers, the traditional data centers, or you have your virtualized data center, you have your applications hosted in your private clouds, uh, like such as OpenStack, or you have, um, or you're using public clouds like AWS or Amazon um, as your, cloud then we, we we provide application delivery services secure application delivery services in all of these environments uh, we have we provide you a choice of consumption or the choice of form factor so we have uh, adc offering as a as an appliance which, or you can buy it as a software run it on a bare metal if you need higher performance we have virtualized appliances which you can run in your virtual uh, virtual environment or you can also have the cloud uh, cloud native uh, uh, ADC that you can run in a cloud in a cloud form uh, only uh, cloud only uh, service. 
then we uh, then our adc uh, we have the uh, rest api 100% rest api compliance we have programmability so if you are using your if you are uh, if you are a dev devops shop if you have a, uh, if you have if you are using rest apis uh, then you can uh, you can um, pretty much do everything using our ax api or the api uh, capabilities we have the cloud delivery services we have these cloud native applications where you can use, uh, where you can elastically scale them in, scale them out, and we have the lightweight uh, ADCs as well. So, I'm gonna I'm gonna present two demos today. So one is our, about our eight and thunder um, product line, which is the uh, which is more traditional uh, for traditional, which uses the Elbas option. And I'm going to also talk about, uh, present you the eight and lightning solution, which is new off the bat and uh, uses the um, uh, it uses the containerized uh, lightweight APs uh, ADCs. So. When it comes to OpenStack, we have two choices, right? So customers, uh, what uh, what customers want to do is they want to offer AWS-like services to their uh, to their end users, and for that there are two choices. One is you can use the Elbas driver, which is uh, the uh, which is native to OpenStack, and you can use uh, we have an 810 810 Elbas driver that you can use. The 810 uh, the 810 Elbas driver on one end is one of the end of the spectrum, where it provides integration into uh, the physical 810 appliances or the bare metal or virtual appliances. So you can use that for higher performance for applications where where you need higher throughputs. Uh, you need uh, <coughs> you need to do uh, you need to provide application delivery services in a more uh, vertically scaled manner. The uh, <coughs> On this, uh, with our 8 and Elbas uh, driver, we also support the SDN overlay. So on the on our ADC platform, what that means is, you, if you are running an a, if you are highly, um, if you are using SDN, then you can have a, then you can use our 8 and Thunder devices, and you can kind of use VXLAN tunneling over that uh, to to have your applications or your apps uh, workloads talk to the ADC device over overlay. Then we have the 810 Lightning controller that provides you the ability to spin up your ADCs next to the uh, next to where your apps are. It's a centralized controller with a, with a load balancing configuration through a single pane of glass. It provides you also per app, app analytics. So for every app uh, app that you use, uh, spin up an ADC or uh, app, app delivery uh, uh, proxies, it provides you analytics for uh, for that one. Then it also provides your performance monitoring. It, you can use it for auto scaling, so you can scale up, scale down instances based on uh, based on your load. So, so this is our 8 and Elbas driver. It provides you. A, a lot of capabilities. It provides you layer four to layer seven load balancing. It provides you con uh, layer seven content switching uh, options. We have health monitors, not just the standard that the Elbas driver provides, but we provide more, uh, more number of health monitors. We also have SSL offload capabilities on the on our device, and that can be done through the uh, through the custom driver that we have that, that provides you the can, the uh, ability to configure SSL um, and uh, SSL certificates and keys on the device through the Elbas GUI. Then we have multi-tenancy support. I talked about that. We have uh, vThunder orchestration through our Elbas V2 driver. So let me jump into the uh, demo, and we'll take it from there. So in this de uh, demo, what I'm going to show you first is how any how uh, you can uh, orchestrate a V Thunder, or uh, which is our 8 and uh, ADC uh, Thunder ADC device, using a using heat or uh, heat or any other mechanism you can use. And this can be uh, this orchestration can you can also accomplish it using the uh, I don't s I don't see the video. It's working. Is your laptop? 
Hmm? Yeah. Yeah, it does. I don't know how you do it. Did you extend? Did you extend it? Okay. okay. Sorry for the, this one. So here, what I'm showing here is uh, the V Thunder orchestrated through the uh, Elbaz driver. The uh, so I'm gonna in the interest of time, I'm gonna move ahead and uh, show you in the next thing how do you configure an Elbaz uh, uh, service. So here I have an application. Uh, I have these uh, servers. So I'm configuring an Elbaz service through the uh, Elbaz uh, Horizon uh, dashboard. So here I'm creating a pool. Next, I'm going to go ahead and create a uh, add member, uh, create a VIP. Then I'm going to add some members to this uh, uh, to this pool, and uh, voila, the, we have the uh, service uh, up and running. Now I'm going to go to the 810 device, and uh, this is the 27 uh, uh, ACOS. On this device, we're going to see that the service is configured. By the way, this is uh, asynchronous, so any change, uh, any. Elbaz, uh, Elbaz goes and configures his device using REST API, and if you want to make uh, if you want to ma make modifications to so it, if you want to add more service, more uh, advanced features, you can go ahead and do that in the in our GUI or through CLI. So this is the uh, VXLAN uh, uh, configuration. So it is uh, it is using the VXLAN overlay to talk to the servers through uh, our device. It is sitting next to the compute nodes in the OpenStack environment. And I'm going to show you. So here the services are coming up. And here's the uh, sample website that I created. So that is up now. Next, I'm going to talk about the. Um, I'll quickly show you the how to license it. So on a, we have a very lic uh, flexible licensing policy. So we support both your perpetual licenses, which you can purchase and uh, apply to the V-Thunders that you spin up, or we have a flexible pay-as-you-go licensing where you pay, where you can have the uh, V-Thunder go ahead and contact the licensing server and get the license automatically. Now I'm going to move uh, to our cloud controller. So where's this? So here I'm going to talk next. I'm going to show you a demo of our Lightning application delivery service or the Lightning controller. This is a centralized controller that provides you three things. It provides you policy management, the load balancing policy management from a uh, from a single pane of glass, it provides you management for those pro for the proxies, and it also provides you the analytics for a, on a per application basis. The uh, ADCs, uh, the ADC proxies can be your lightweight nginx based proxies, or it could be your high th high performance vthunder or uh, bare metal ACOS uh, running. We have a, uh, the con controller can be either cloud based, so it can be a cloud. Uh, it can be. Uh, it can be a SaaS base, or you can have an on-prem uh, installation also within the within your OpenStack or uh, any uh, virtualized environment that you are uh, using. It is a self-service portal, and it is highly multi-tenant, and it supports all of these clouds that uh, environment that I show here. Of course, OpenStack is one of them. So I'm going to move into the uh, AD, uh, into the Lightning demo. So. Okay, so let's watch how the controller works. So you can, you have the option. You either you can go to the Elbas UI, uh, Horizon Elbas uh, interface, and configure your load balancing uh, uh, service there, or you can use it the, use the controller. So in this case, what I'm showing you is my OpenStack environment where I have a demo, uh, where I have a portal, web portal running. I have these five different servers, and I want to load balance, uh, provide a load balancer to, uh, to them. So what I'm going to do is uh, log in into the con controller, and this time I'm going to do it through the controller. So ri right now, as you see, there's no Elbas pool configured for this service, uh, for this portal. So here I'm lo uh, logging into the uh, logging into the controller. From the controller, I create an application. 
for that application i create an endpoint uh, that endpoint is the point uh, is the url on which the service will be hosted so if you point to that uh, your browser to that url from there you'll uh, you'll get the uh, application service now in this case it supports multiple clouds i'm using openstack so i'm going to say hey my application is in hosted in openstack uh, i'm going to use the openstack user credentials in this case and moving uh, and move next so now i'm going to add my application services so i'm going to tell the um, uh, tell the controller okay where are my app servers and what are the what is the ip address of those app servers in case you are uh, using this in a aws environment you can just go ahead and say okay my application servers are configured in elb and it will pick up from there in this case you can add them uh, uh, here in the uh, ui itself so i'm adding these application servers i've added the five servers that i had for that, uh, for the uh, web portal. Now I'm going to uh, next. I'm going to go ahead and say, "Hey, create the application proxies for me, or create an app, create an load balancing service for me." So now it starts the application. Uh, it starts a load balancing. Uh, it starts the uh, load balancer configuration. So it is going to contact the uh, <coughs> the controller. OpenStack controller and initiate the um, initiate the proxies. This uh, this usually takes like a minute or two before the proxies are up. They have an IP address and they are configured. So once the proxies are configured, then the controller will tell you that okay, the uh, application proxies are up. The application proxies are uh, spun up in the same can be spun up in the same tenant space so in the same uh, uh, next to your app, app servers so that there's a and you can you have the ability to scale up or scale down those proxies based on the uh, based on the um, uh, load so you can specify hey my if my application uh, if my application proxies are running at a certain load then spin up additional proxies and in case if the load recedes then it can spin down those proxies the other thing it can do is uh, it can also uh, it also collects information or statistics on the usage from that uh, those proxies in real time and uh, populates that onto the controller so from the controller side you get the analytics on the application usage you can uh, you, uh, that i'm going to show you so it's still running uh, the proxy uh, creation let me go there now and show you so here you see those two proxies coming uh, spun up from the controller view so this is the, this is uh, the uh, the lightning controller which talks to the openstack controller in this case and uh, sends, uh, tells the openstack controller to spin up the proxies now the proxies are running and you can see like it took like a, about a minute or two to uh, usually spin up the proxies the proxy should be up so next we're gonna so here if you go back to the controller this is where it goes and says hey my, the proxies are spun up the service is up what do you want to do next so you can say okay fine thank you uh, and now you, uh, now we'll go to the um, oh, go here open a browser uh, we'll go to the lbas configuration so under network lbas under this you can see that there is a lbas service created this is created by the controller itself so in this case you do, you do, uh, if you don't want to use the lbas ui you can just use the controller and the controller takes care of spinning uh, creating an lbas service for you now this uh, and it has these five members as you see and then uh, it's monitoring the app, uh, the health of those applica application servers or the uh, portal uh, web portal servers now this is uh, this is my application domain and it has the configuration i'm not going through those details but today but i'm going to quickly show you uh, so th so this is the website uh, we go to that was hosted by the application uh, uh, that's hosted uh, on the OpenStack, and it is um, powered by the application, pro uh, the proxies load balancing it. Now I'm going, I'm moving forward. After this, I go back here, and I want to say, hey, I want to give me the dashboard, give me the statistics on this, how many requests were made, and each of this you can actually zoom into, and you can go uh, get more details on that. Uh, made some more traffic, and you can see that okay, it's uh, the. <clears throat> 
it's updating the uh, the uh, the a dashboard in real time so it provides you information like response time popular uh, sites it provides you the if there are any errors it also points out that so with that i end this session thank you very much thank you very much for joining